All right, well, my ball landed right here, just barely in the rough. Not really that much room to work with, but that's what we're looking at. There's the pin way up there. Again, like I said in the intro, it's really, really wet right now. It's pretty much wet everywhere, so I'm gonna be playing the ball up. So, right, shut up in the comments. I don't wanna hear that, okay? So, we're gonna be playing the ball up all day today. I think this is about 160 something yards away, so I've got a nice, comfortable nine iron for him. So, we're just gonna see what we can do. Yeah, this course looks tough, so let's see what happens. I think I was about 170 or 180 on that shot. So I kind of wanted to crush it and uh, and she took off. So I think it might be on the back edge of the green. I should be putting for birdie or something, but I really got after that one. So <laughs> and walking up to the green here, literally a perfect shot. I was not expecting it to be here. If anything, I thought it would be way back there on the back edge of the green. So to have this is pretty solid. Let's try and make this eagle. All right, I'm pretty sure these greens are gonna be pretty slow. It's been raining here a lot, so. Work left for birdie here. Alright, birdie on the first. Good start. Good start. Alright. 181 playing from back here. I got a nice comfortable seven iron. I don't think it's a full seven iron, but 181. Haven't swung anything all day, so. Stay there. Stay there. I think it's just underneath the pin. Pretty solid shot there, if I'm being completely honest. So, dude, the golf feels pretty solid right now. I'm telling you, I'm coming off of a beautiful, good, good week from Jupiter, Florida, where some of the most intense and some of the best content I think we've made is coming from Jupiter, Florida. So, I am ecstatic about about some of that. Played some really cool golf, but uh, yeah, I think most of you guys know by this point we did uh, we did participate in the pro am, which was kind of cool, and uh, I'm just excited to see. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out, like that's the reason I'm filming these videos right now is I'm trying to figure out some things in my game. I think I've come to the realization that I'm going to be hitting a fade for the rest of my life and I just need to accept that. And I mean, it's working out pretty well. This is like 15, 15 or something feet. So I like where my game's at. I'm just going to try and keep playing well for you guys and see what I can do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like I said, this is what we're looking at. It actually spun back a little bit. That's my divot right there. Ball's right there. So a really fantastic shot for my literal third shot of the day. So just trying to make this birdie. Oh my goodness, I thought I had that. All right, it's a good par. That's a great par. I feel like I could be a really tough hole out here on this golf course. So. A par is a really great score there. One under still. That's a pretty solid. That's pretty solid. You know what? Sometimes my starts are terrible. So I'm feeling pretty good about that start. Okay. All right. So this hole is awesome because this hole is awesome because you can't see anything. But it is 312. No, 330. It's 330 to the pin. And if you guys can see, I'll kind of point it with my driver. But directly over these trees, these ones over here, just barely cutting them off on that direct line. It's about 312 to clear everything. It's 330 is like a little bit of a cut. Um, as a little bit of a dog leg to the right. So I'm going to take driver here. My first drive felt really solid. So I'm thinking uh, anything 290 to 300 would be a really solid drive. I'll have a nice wedge into the screen. And since they're so wet and receptive, I feel like I can get it pretty close. So. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I almost missed the ball. I was trying to swing out, and I came so far inside. All right, don't need to explain why I'm bad. Also, if you guys wonder why I'm, I'm able to yell, talk to the guy in the pro shop today, and uh, shout out to you, whatever your name was, I completely forgot, but I'm playing out here at Arrowhead, the Highlands course in Lake Arrowhead in Wileska, Georgia. I think is how you say that. So I'm playing out here at that course, and he literally told me when I went in there that I was the only person playing today. I'm the only person on the golf course. Somebody else can shut your mouth. So that's kind of cool. Back onto the course anyway. 
I kind of uh, barely barely hit that ball, barely made contact. Probably going to be in the rough, but I'm not going to be too far out. So I'm just glad I was able to hit the ball. So All right, so I'm way up here on the hill. I got to, it said I got about 147 to the pin. I'm not quite sure what I want to hit, but I got P wedge of nine. It's also a blind tee shot or a blind shot here. So I think I like a smooth nine. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty solid. Really solid divot. That was a tough shot. That was probably, that might be my toughest shot of the day. Just cause there's, there's so much uncertainty with that shot. I didn't really have, didn't really have much to go on except for my in instinct there with over the hill. So pretty solid shot, nine iron, <sighs> should be putting. And that is what we're looking at. Sorry, I gotta be on the, I gotta be in the cart. It's kind of raining just a little bit and gotta keep my camera safe. But that is a fantastic shot. I had no idea where this pin was, but it's uh, it's pretty much all the way in the back. Had all that green. My ball landed just up on that ridge. So actually gonna do an interesting angle here. I'm gonna set the camera right about there for you guys. I'm in the cart. So hopefully it doesn't fall down, but let's try to make birdie from there. Getting harder to see by the second. Always fix your divot. putter in my hand. Ooh, whoop, whoop. This thing been sweeted in some sweet pie from mama. Boo. All right, here's what we're looking at. This hole is fairly short. It's 385, but it's about 280, 275 to those bunkers. So I'm actually going to hit a three wood just so I can be safe. It's about 330 to clear the bunkers. So I kind of want something that's just, just right near those bunkers. I'll still have about 130 in, which is a pretty solid number. I've been hitting the green all day with that number. So yeah, anyway, those bunkers, it's a little fade. All right, well, my ball landed here, but it is absolutely demolished in mud, and I don't think I can clean it fully. So I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna be hitting a mud ball here, which is totally fine. It's part of the game. Gotta figure this, gotta figure these kinds of things out. So God, I think I have about a hundred and something yards here, you guys. Honestly, not even probably like 90, and I brought a 50 degree. So it's, uh, it's definitely not full. It's like a smooth 50. I need to try to get this up on the green somewhere. That's pretty good. Right there. Oh, yes! I think that's pretty good. I took a lot off of that, but that worked out pretty well, I think. And that's what we're looking at. Pretty solid shot from, I knew it was gonna be a little long, but I like where it's at. Huh? Well, these greens have been freaking slow all day, and then I hit one like that. Well, as you can clearly see, I hit that way too far. I, w I mean, I was not expecting that. You guys can see how slow these greens have been reading today, so that uh, that's not what I was expecting. But this is a pretty straight putt, so I should be able to still sink a par here. Turn it. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's a tough one right there. After that amazing birdie I just had too. Ah, that's part of it though, you know. That's part of the game right there. Kind of under underestimated the greens on that one. I didn't. I I really thought they were going to be super slow. It was playing just a tad bit uphill too, so thought I had to give it a little extra something. And you know, better to be long than short. I always say. All right. Well, here we are coming up on the next hole. It's kind of interesting. You guys can see right where that cart path goes up. There's a second. It's a split fairway. So there's a fairway right down here. And then up on the shelf is the other fairway, which I think the pin is somewhere up there, according to the 18 birdies app and the scorecard. So I'm going to hit driver. It says it's 330 to clear all the way through the, through the fairway. So a nice smooth drive here. I think we'll be fine. Flip eight. All right, that was a close one, not gonna lie. Okay, so this sucks, all right, this really sucks. 100 and about 80 yards to the pin. You guys cannot see the pin. There's some bunkers right in this area, and the pin's like directly over here. So I've got pitching wedge actually, and I'm just gonna go up and over these trees, land it somewhere in the fairway. It's a par five, about 580 yards. So if I can get a birdie, I'll be back in the right track and get rid of that bogey. 
God, actually, I don't know if pitching wedge is enough. I also brought a seven iron. I think seven iron can be enough just to get over these front trees here. I think eight iron would have been the number, but cart's far away. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I might have accidentally hit a perfect shot. I might have accidentally just hit a really perfect shot. That, well, I, if you're wondering why I'm saying that, I just went through, I just went through those trees, through the smallest gap that there was, didn't touch a tree, and I had a little bit of a cut on it, meaning with seven iron, I think I had enough to carry and be somewhere in the fairway, so let's make history happen. All right, well, you'll see me all the way over here. Dang, this is a tough hole. This hole's been everywhere, man. It took me a while to find my ball, even. This hole's been all over the place. I somehow have a par, so I'm gonna treat it as, as kind of a faster putt. Oh my lord, that breaks. Holy breakage. Holy breakage. All right, that was a tough bogey. All right, that one was a tough one to swallow there, but we're moving on, you guys. Par four, long one, 470. So I need a really solid drive here down the middle. Give myself a shot into the screen for a, a birdie bounce back here. Whoa. All right, I saw a kick right. That sounded like a missile launcher, didn't it? Look at that, that is so cool. It's like a foggy, misty wonderland. That is where my ball landed. Long hole, but I cleared it all. It said it was about 320, 330 on this line, so imagine if I got that cart path bouncing. We got pretty close, but that's where we're sitting. I'm gonna try and set this up. Hopefully you guys can see it. Kinda go in the hole, you know. Got about 100 yards. I'm thinking it's a 58 degree. Get up. Ah! Maybe 54 was a choice. I I didn't think I would have to hit that that hard. Then I realized that, hey, Matt, you're in the freaking dirt. Let's go make birdie. I like these kinds of angles. I don't know why. Angles for the guys. All right. That was a double breaker. It wasn't. Dude, playing on this golf course by myself is so fun. There's literally nobody else out here but me. All right, so we're coming up on this next hole. And it is not easy. 240 yard par three here at the Arrowhead in Georgia. And this looks like one of the hardest horse horses. One of the hardest holes on the course. And it's kind of, an, I think it's an in-betweener shot. I don't think five iron would get there. I bet I could probably hit five iron and get it there, but I don't want to try to crush it. There is no win, so I think I could hit that five iron there, but I'm going to hit a nice smooth four iron. I got it teed up a little bit as well. Let me know if this works for you guys, but since the, the, the grass is really still wet up here in the tee box, chunk can come into play. So if I just teed up a little bit, I think I take chunk completely out of it. Just get it in play here. I just hit too far down on it, but that was literally, that was directly at the hole. It's gonna be about 30 yards, I think 20 yards short. I kind of chunked it a little bit still somehow, so. All right, well, since you can't see, you, you won't be able to see the ball anyway. I'm just gonna flop it over to you guys, okay? Dang, that's pretty long. Ah! That was a tough shot. Also not as long as I thought, so that's also good news. It's a tough hole. I'll try and make this par. Oh my gosh, I literally tapped that. Frick. 
that's a tough one to swallow there again, but it's also a tough hole. All right, this is kind of a monstrous hole as well, but a beautiful view. So, 400 and uh, I think 440. So, all the way down to the end before I meet the crust is 330. So I'm trying to trying to hit it right there. Give me that perfect 147 number. Let's get back on the birdie train. That could be 330. I hit that freaking good. All right, that that's what I call a little too close. I'm debating on what to hit here, everybody, just because it's so close. Well, not close to the car path, but it's close. It's close enough to this water here that chunk is dead. I mean, chunk is so in play, it's ridiculous. So I'm actually hitting a pitching wedge from about 115. I'm just going to play something smooth. Try and take chunk completely out of play here. Oh my gosh! Dude? That's either right behind the hole or it's literally in it. Those are the only two options. Dude! Look at that. Okay? When I told you it was directly behind the pin, it was directly behind the pin. Time to make birdie, I guess. All right, I'm using a snipe shot here. I'm gonna go tap that in. Yeah! Woo! Back to one under, baby. All right, well, this kind of this hole kind of sucks. Gosh, this hole's tough, you know, because also I'm even par, by the way. I'm even par because I forgot I bogeyed that par three and then birdied this one. I was even par and then plus one now back to even par. So. This is hole number, should be nine. Yeah, this is hole number nine. And you can see that it's tough. And it's tough because I can only hit a 240 yard shot and I have to be very accurate and I gotta hit it on the left side here. Um, if I wanted to go for it, I have to hit something three, like 30 to get it into the fairway, even 340. And I just don't got that in me right now. So this is an accurate, accurate shot here. Right there, right there, baby. Perfect. That is why I tee it up so I don't chunk it. Except for that part three where I did not do that. All right, so this is tough once again. Uh, it's definitely eight iron, it's playing about 170, but you know, I gotta try and take chunk out of the play, so I'm gonna hit a smooth seven iron. I was down in the water there, that's why it didn't move. I literally splashed in this little water, there's a drain right there, so I moved it up over here. Which is the closest spot of relief, I think, so. I hit it really good, but I don't think it was playing 170. All right, so I'm gonna be somewhere way down here chipping to the hole. Dude, that was freaking hard of the whole